So we're still talking about transformations and now we want to get onto a coordinate grid because that's how computer graphics are done. All the animated videos, movies that you see, they deal with things on a coordinate grid. Again, translation is a slide. You're either going X direction, Y direction, or some kind of a slanted combo of X and Y. And the other thing that we're talking about that we'll get to again is this idea of a vector. It's an arrow and it, that arrow actually shows us the exact direction and the exact distance that we want to translate. So first we could just write about, hey, we got a little polygon here. And if you look up here, we could say, you know, hey, take every X and Y coordinate and add three to the X and subtract two from the Y, which kind of means walk it. So we're gonna go add three to the Y. So we're gonna, let's go to the blue red. We're gonna start at B and we're gonna add three to the X. One, two, three, and then go down to one, two. So there is our new B called B prime. Do the same thing to C. One, two, three, one, two. And then A, one, two, three, down to one, two. And D, one, two, three, down, two. And that is our new location. It's hard to draw straight with the mouse, but you kind of see what we got, the exact same shape, just in a different place. Again, translation is also an isometry. Same size, different place though. Look at that again. Here we got one that says take every x and y and take two away from the x and take two away from the y. So it means move left and move down. So again, it's going to go left two, so one, two, and then down two. One, two, there's a new b. One, two, one, two. Here is the new c. We're at a, let's go one two, one, two, because we're going left two and down two. Again, it says take the X, subtract two, take the Y, subtract two. One, two, one, two. Here is our new location. It's hard to draw straight with the mouse, but you see that we're getting pretty much the same shape. We should get exactly the same shape if we use a straight edge. But there's actually a shorter way to write that, and that is vector format. Vector format is this arrow. We don't actually have to be given the arrow. We can just be given a two in format. So this arrow says we're going to go five units right and three units up. So they could draw us an arrow and say that, or they could write it like this down here. Five, three. Go five to the right and go three up. That's called the component form. They started at F, they went to G, so that's why it's called FG with a little arrow head over top, telling us it's a vector. Again, FG, it goes from F to G, arrow head over top says it's a vector. These angle brackets tell us these are components of a vector. There's a difference between writing 5-3 in parentheses and 5-3 in angle brackets. 5-3 in parentheses is a dot, it's a point, it's a location. 5, 3 is a distance and direction. It means go right 5, go up 3. So let's practice naming it. Look at these. What do we got? So name them. It starts where, ends where. So this is a vector BC because it goes from B to C. So write BC and put an arrowhead over top. Say it's a vector. Now it's components. Angle brackets, and then how far right or left, how far, far, far right or left, and how far up or down. So start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going nine to the right. So that's a positive nine in the X location. And then we're here, we go down two. So down two. So nine, negative two. Vector BC. Here we have vector RS and I have to draw the arrow in because I can't actually 
do it on a keyboard. So RS. And then the component form is angle bracket. How far right? One, two, three, four, five. Five. How far up or down? Zero. Angle bracket. There we go. It's a five, zero vector. This one, what's the name of it? It's TX because it goes from T to X. So we name it TX. If it went the other way, we call it XT. It's just as simple as that. So TX with a little vector over top, with an arrow over top, and the component form, angle bracket, how far right or left? Well, zero. And then how far up or down? It goes one, two, three, up three. So vector TX has the component form of zero, three. It doesn't go right or left, it goes up three. Wrong way. All right, one more. Which way does it go? It goes from which point to which point? It goes from B to K. So it is named BK. And you want to again draw a little arrowhead over top to tell us it's a vector. It's not a line segment. It's not a line. It's a vector. And angle brackets, so which way does it go? It goes left. So it goes one, two, three, four, five to the left. That'd be minus five. And then how far up or down? One, two. It goes up two. So, goes five left, goes up two. It's named BK because it goes from B to K. So let's use it. Here we go. This says three negative one, which means take every dot and do what to them? Move them. Three to the right and one down. So let's start at D. One, two, three, down. There's where D goes. Three to the right, one down. A, one, two, three, down one. There's our new A. See what we do? Three right, down one. All right, let's move on to another one. This one says take every dot and move it. Three left, one down. So three left, one, two, three, one down. Here is our new point for B, B prime. Let's do A. It says to go three left, one down. One, two, three, down one. Yay. Two, two. Here, let's do this one now. Two, two says to move everything to the right, two up. So one, two, one, two. There is our new C prime. Let's do D. One, two, one, two, one, two. There is the new D prime. That's how we use vectors. So let's talk about vectors here. Uh, we got a boat going out here. It went from here at the start at zero, zero, one, two, twelve, four. What is this vector? This vector is AB. What are the components of the vector? Well, one from zero to twelve. And then it went 0 to 4. So AB with an arrowhead over top has a component going from 0 to 12. So that's 12 to the right. And it went 0 to 4. So that's 4 up. Awesome. Okay. Again, needs that arrowhead over top. Yay. All right. Now, what's the component of this vector? What's the component form of that one? That was AB. Well, how do we name this? Well, this is going from B to C, so it's BC. All right, we can do that. Pretty simple. BC, arrow on top. Awesome, good. And component form. Well, it goes from 12 over to 16. Well, that's 4. And then it goes from, from 4 down to 2. Well, it went negative 2. All right. So your job is to tell me what is the vector that will get us from C to D. So pause and do it, because I'm going to write it right now. It is vector C, D. We're going to make it big. Component form. It goes from 16 to 18, which is 2. And it goes from 2 up to 5, which is 3. I sure hope you paused it and tried it yourself before I did it. And again, vector on top. Okay. Always pause. So, 
If Buckeye High School is at latitude 41.189 and longitude negative 81.925, hey, we can round those. I'm, I, I don't care about that. That's fine. Let's go with 41 and eight, negative 82. And the London I is at 51 and a half. Well, let's just go 51. Just we're just rounding. And let's just say that's zero. Wow, negative 0.1. Okay. Your job is to figure out what vector gets us from Buckeye, which is here, over to here. If you do it, I'll tell you later.